welcome to our lesson for today. We are focusing on systems technology and we are still looking at introduction to computers. And now we are going to look at the benefits of computers. Now that we know how to use a computer and what are the uses of a computer, what does it help us to use this computer or what do we benefit from using this computer? So we're going to look at a short uh, scenario here. On, in terms of how technology helps one to operate and why would uh, we need to use these computers. Now, we have to look at, obviously, things change and we obviously need to make a change in order to you know, adapt to these changes. Now, what is it that we can do? Now, we can look at this case study that says, now you have an idea of why one would use a computer. Right, think about a scientist that has to do an experiment. Now, all of these things would obviously be difficult or a bit more unachievable if we did not have technology. Now, with this use of technology, it can help us explore all of these uh, different sites that we did not know or help us to achieve the goals that we could not achieve before. Now, all of this would be obviously made easy because of the use of technology. But do you know how to use it and why do you think we should use these computers? Now, there's three points that I want us to look at. The first one is efficiently. Now, what does this mean? When we use computers, they allow us to work efficiently in terms of saving time in what we do. Our labor would obviously be easier and we are able to get resources from these computers. And then another thing, we are able to work effectively. Now, when we work effectively, we get the job done, right? So the job would be done, and we know that this computer would be reliable. If it was in a good condition, I'll be able to achieve the purpose. And then lastly is accurately. Now, why are we saying we are working accurately when we use this technology or computer? We are actually saying that it gives quality in terms of what we do. So why we are saying it's a quality program? Because it gives quality results. And again, it gives quality data. Now, whenever you are working with a computer, you know that you can rely on, re on the results that you can get from this uh, device because you know that it has been programmed to do specific tasks. So it's not where you can always question whether the result is correct or incorrect. We know of a term that is called GIGO. Now this term uh, simply means that garbage in, you get garbage out. So whenever you get incorrect information, it would be because you simply made a mistake and you entered something that you did not want. And the computer would actually give you whatever that you requested. So be careful whenever you do your research or whatever data that you're experimenting with, if you enter incorrect information, you'd obviously get incorrect uh, uh, results that you were not looking for. Right, and then we're going to move on to looking at some more computer users. Now, do you know what kind of computer users benefits or advance workplace and career path opportunities? Now, if you did not know, there's a lot of things that we can get from the computer that will help achieve our careers as well as um, advance us in our uh, workplaces. Now, whenever you are working, you don't have to relax and say, you know what, I'm fine, I'm happy. Because you have this technology that is evolving and it means that you need to keep up with the latest technology in order to fit into your work industry. Now, there's a few things that we have to uh, look at. Now, computers, imagine in workplaces, you have to manage networks, you have to um, uh, perform some operations. Now, if we did not have computers, this would be very difficult. Secondly, you do some distribution and manufacturing. Now, whenever you have to deal with distribution and manufacturing, you know that there's a lot of stakeholders involved. So there will be traveling involved, there will be um, exchanging of information that is involved. And without communication devices, it would be very difficult for us to achieve that. So that is why we say this is very important that now computers has allowed us uh, to achieve these goals. And then the next one is design and development. Whenever you're planning of designing a new uh, device or developing new systems, you obviously need technology in order to do that. So with the help of computers, it makes it very easy to do that.
And then the next one is maintenance and repair. So we do have to maintain some of the uh, devices that we have. We have to do repairs. And obviously, sometimes it gets to be difficult. Think of it now, these new cars that we have. You simply take it to a car dealer or you take it to a mechanic. And what they simply do is connect a computer into en to the engine and you simply get all the results in terms of what is wrong with your computer, what is not functioning, and what is properly functioning. And that is why we say technology is actually ruling the world. Now, the last one we're going to look at is online learning and training. Right, now, online learning and training obviously provides uh, training and learning online, even if you are at work. So it doesn't mean that if you are working, you can't really, um, you know, get more knowledge in terms of what is it that you still want to do or get more knowledge of the current job that you are doing. So this basically assists people who are working towards a specific uh, goal and they are able to get uh, more training as well as learning online. Now, some more benefits of using a computer. We've mentioned this one before where you are able to now work faster and more efficiently. Now, this obviously has to do with more in terms of the general purposes of computers, right? And then the second one is you are able to make more better and more informed decisions far quicker because what we do is you do your research and then you get the results at the end. The third one, you are able to store and make sense of vast quantities of data. Imagine if you had to store a lot of information and you can't even analyze or start analyzing this data. But with the use of a computer, you can store data and you, with a click of a button, you'll be able to get data analysis out of that data. The next one is identify and adapt to changing trends far quicker. Now, if you did not know what was happening in another country, then it would be very difficult for us to live, at, uh, live up to the standards of, of, of living. But because we get inspired and we can see what is being developed in other countries, it allows us to grow and be able to you know, aspire into better things. But now with the use of a computer, again, it has allowed us to explore in that world and be able to identify these growing trends. And then another one is communicate more effectively. Now, communication has been made so uh, easy for us. Now, you don't even have to worry about if you do have airtime because you can simply use your social networks where you can uh, just simply not make a call and just make an SMS or, you know, send instant messaging or you can even uh, Skype if you have uh, computer access where you don't have to worry about um, actually talking to the person uh, over the phone. Or you can also have VoIP where you have meetings online in terms of the businesses where you don't have to even travel to um, a specific um, area just for you to get um, the meeting uh, done. Now these are some of the examples and let's look at the last section of our exa examples. You can be able to communicate instantly. Now communication doesn't have to take time. So if you want to talk to someone immediately, you are able to do so. So you don't have to think about, no, they will get the, uh, the message tomorrow or they will get the, the mail tomorrow. So it's just basic instant communication. And then the next one is you are able to perform tasks that can not be easily or safely performed by humans. There are some dangerous tasks that uh, you know, are really, really dangerous for humans to, to actually uh, do them physically. But with the use of computers, that has enabled us to actually do those tasks. And then the next one, work um, wherever we have access to a computer. Now, simply means that you can even, uh, when you are traveling on the road, you see an internet cafe, you can use it, or you can even use your mobile device and get internet on the road or if maybe you have um, a wireless device where it can be a tablet or a cell phone or even a laptop where you can just simply sit down, get wireless connection or wi with Wi-Fi and um, you can be able to actually continue your work. Then the next one, perform repetitive and mechanical tasks. Now there's a lot of tasks that has to be uh, obviously completed and you can actually uh, use a computer to perform those uh, tasks. Obviously that would obviously be difficult for you to perform yourself. And then 
The last one that we're going to look at is empowering individuals. Now, whenever you have a computer in front of you, you have actually a powerful tool because it allows you to explore into this world that you did not know before. Now, this simply means that you empower yourself with all this knowledge and it actually gives you that confidence in terms of facing up the world and all the challenges that we have. So that is it with our benefits of a computer. And thank you for joining us for this lesson. Goodbye.